Hello, hello, welcome back to another modern video. It's me again, it's Dan again, playing Murktide again. Uh, this is the list that had recently won the PTQ on Magic Online, and I was very interested by it because of a lot of overall choices with the deck. So the main thing here is <clears throat> change the equation. Um, for those of you who have never seen this card, and it's likely because uh, this is a card you would sometimes see in the sideboard of like blue pioneer decks but uh it says it's one blue for an instant that says choose one counter target spell with mana value two or less or counter target red or green spell with mana value six or less so <clears throat> with the man of fury uh scam has become slightly less prevalent uh but because of the ban of fury that means uh, creature combo decks are back in back in vogue, and this being able to hit uh, Amulet Titan or like Amulet Titan, just like the Titan part of it itself, or really any card out of that um, Dryad of the Elysian Grove too. Uh, Summoner's Pact, you know, like things like those. Uh, creativity is hits. Uh, Trying to think of some other stuff too. It hits cord in, against Yogmoth, so it's like a, a decent cord. Uh, spell to use. I, I'm interested by this. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, but we'll see. Uh, for the remainder of the deck, it's pretty standard. 18 lands, although it does not run my preferred 18 lands. Uh, we're running an additional fetch land over Fiery Islet. I don't know how I feel about that, but uh, you know, we'll play a league and figure out how it feels. Uh, no stern scolding, uh, likely being replaced for the change the equation. Uh, force of negation main and one in the side. And two subtlety main, uh, like I said, with creature combo decks with like Amulet Titan and uh, Yogmoth, subtlety being able to hit those is pretty strong. Uh, and then four copies of Murktide Regent. Any anytime you can just resolve Murktide Regent early and just protect it and just win the game from there, like that's that always feels good. So having four is is solid. Uh, having three ways to pitch dead copies of Murktide Regent also. Uh, is very useful, so um, we'll see with four. I think I think three might be correct going forward, but uh, four four seems right. Uh, I've been seeing a few lists playing Ledger Shredder. Uh, I've hated Ledger Shredder every time. Uh, I feel like in a Cascade meta game, like we're kind of in currently with like Rhinos and Living End being like twenty percent of the meta. It's pretty good there, but against stuff like Amulet Titan and Yogmoth, that that card is just so bad and. Uh, in reality, those are your weakest match. Your, those are your weaker matchups in the first place. Uh, in my RCQ, I played against, uh, and this is like an RCQ like months and months ago, but I played against Rhinos, and it was just like I didn't have Ledger Shredder in my main board, and I still controlled everything that was happening all the time. Like I was just in the driver's seat the entire game, so I don't feel like Ledger Shredder is super necessary for either Rhinos and Living In. So I'm just kind of like fading it ultimately uh then we have on the sideboard uh two flash of storm two d stern scolding for your creature matchups uh two dress down again for creature ma matchups mystical dispute for the mi the mirror and other blue decks uh additional force negation here's the interesting stuff so we have three magus of the moon <clears throat> and my thought is or my my guess is with this is that you want your opponent to be able to in the Tron and um in the Tron and Amulet matchups to not be able to search out the Seiju who endorse uh to be able to immediately pop these. <clears throat> uh and also similarly with Tron uh not being able to have Haywire Might to immediately pop these. <coughs> Got it. Sorry, I'm sick. Um, you'd rather them just have like the mystical or the mystical disease, the dismembers that they have, uh, if they have them, if they run them, uh, and most of the time, if you're dropping Magus of the moon and they're throwing down a dismember, uh, on the Magus of the moon, you're pretty happy about that because it means a bunch of your other stuff is safe. So I think three is interesting. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and then one cast into the fire, um, I'm assuming this is for like scales and uh, hammer time and all that kind of stuff. So like, 
I don't know. I felt like we kind of moved off of this, but I could be wrong. We we could we could be back on this as Merktide gamers. And then finally, three entry under explosives. Again, uh, the Cascade matchup is pretty strong. Uh, so being able to just you know freely kill you know a couple tokens for an entry under explosive is pretty strong. Uh, also, being able to play this against creativity because creativity's back because the scam would just obliterate that deck constantly, just being able to f freely remove stuff a lot of the time and rip copies of creativity out of their hand. Um, with that, with creativity, at least to me being back a little bit, I, I feel like this is necessary. So uh, let's give this a shot. Let's see how modern feels. It's been a while since I played modern, so I'm probably garbage at it. All right. I have lost the die roll. Let's go. Big fan of that. Um, I like this hand. I think we can keep this hand. Yeah. Because we can likely just go, like, turn one preordain. And then we can, like, hold up turn two counterspell or, like, dash ragavan or something. They mulligan to five. All right, so with a bobble, uh, with me drawing a bobble, I am just going to DRC bobble. Hmm. I don't feel like Murktide's particularly strong here, so let's just bend that. And we'll go to we'll go to our end step. And now we'll get some information. So breeding pool, Telaria West. Okay, this is likely Titan. I'm assuming with with Scalding Tarn. Okay, we draw another Merc Titan. That's not the worst thing ever. No, this can't be Titan. It could be Titan. I don't know for sure. Lotus Field, okay. All right, so let's just preordain. Subtlety, we'll bin that. Spell Snare Dragon DRC. Uh, how about we top top? We'll hold the Spell Snare in case they like, because they're obviously going to do something with two mana next turn. Now, if they go, like, Vizier, that's fine. Oh, okay. I uh, can't do anything about that, so that's fine. All right, so we have Island. Let's just go DRC Pass. Um, actually, let's just go to a combat. Attack with our DRC, do zero damage. Now let's play our DRC, and we'll pass the turn. Pre dance fine. Can't throw anything about that.
The zero, yep. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> They're gonna be breaching, I'm assuming, at some point, which is I just kinda wanna hold stuff for that. This is fine. I of course now wish this was like a spell pierce. That would have been so good if this was a spell pierce. Yeah, you can preordain again. Describe both to the bottom. Consider. Leave it on top. Sure. T West. Okay. So I think I'm dashing Ragavan here. Force of Negation's really good. Force of Negation's really good. Yeah, we're dashing Ragavan here. And we got a hidden strings. It's not something we want, but that's fine. <clears throat> All right, so I'm not playing this Odawara. So we have two counter spells. We have straight up counter spell, and then we have um, force of negation. I'm likely forcing something first. Hmm. Maybe I should have played the Odawara. I'm gonna freeze or uh, free surveil. That's fine. Yeah, maybe I should have played the Odawara just to have the spell snare and like spell be able to spell snare a breach. Okay. Okay. All right, so they only have three mana available. They could potentially twiddle again. Obviously, this is a one ring. We're, we're countering. Like, the Dream's Grip is fine. All right, 19 cards. Uh-huh. Pretty and fine.
preordains fine. All right, let's go, Murky Boy. All right. So, <clears throat> um, I think Flusterstorm here is pretty good. I think Cast in the Fire here is pretty good. I think a Force of Negation and Mystical Dispute are pretty good. Part of me is curious about these, but I think they're too slow. Uh, against this, I think I want to get rid of the subtleties, even though I think they're a Thassa's Oracle deck. I think getting rid of those is fine. Um, change the equation and bring in a couple counter spells that should do stuff that don't matter and make that don't matter. And I can probably remove two, two heats. Yeah, probably two heats. Give that a try. They're playing first a fluster storm. This hand looks so medium. This hand's so medium. This hand's a bit better. Putting a card back. The card is likely just. Is it Merktide? I've seen so much Merktide in just the first couple hands. Only sandbar. All right, let's go. Oh, of course. Um, cool. Uh, punish for not putting back a land. Interesting. Okay. Well, uh, you're useless. Give me a one ring. Dreams grip, huh? Okay. Can't do anything with that. Cast in the fire, please. Okay. This is about to be the greatest, but like the most expensive spell snare of all time. Wish you say that's fine. Um, so I need four mana to play it. Okay, so I can just play the Steam Vents tapped again. Uh, Mystical Speed also costs four mana. Transmute Teleria West into Lotus Field. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. Second Ragavan. Yeah, I'm not really putting pressure on. Which sucks. I wish I was able to apply more pressure than just Ragavan. Like, I wish, like, that was obviously a DRC or something.
this is seven mana. Uh, prepare to get hit with a six mana. Here's a six mana mystical dispute. They're going to pay it. That's fine. Turn late, but it's okay. Probably dead. Potentially dead. I think I have spells near this, actually. That's fine. That's fine. Very little I can do in this spot. This card's actually kind of crazy. Fluster Storm, we keep that on top. Oh, actually, no, that should not have been kept on top. That was a that was a misplay. That should not have been kept on top because um, Fluster Storm doesn't do anything here. All right, you can just you can just do your thing. Just do a million game actions. Yeah, keeping Fluster Storm on top was wrong, but at this point, it doesn't matter. I think Fluster. I think I had to spell snare the um, the hidden strings there. I think that that was like a requirement that I like. It must be done for me to even like get close to winning this game. Unfortunately, they had more stuff to do. Uh, like obviously, they just had more stuff to do, but like them having more stuff to do sucked because it's just like, eh, I don't really get to do anything. Oh well. Wish for Thassa's Oracle. Yep, that's fine. Cool. No one cares. All right, great. Boy, that defense grid was uh, very difficult. Do I, did I bring in Cast in the Fire? I did. Okay. I just didn't see it. I don't even... I don't really know what else could have, I could have done. Obviously, uh, if it, like, turn one Ragavan's supposed to be really strong, and I felt like it was pretty strong, but... Uh, I think in that case, it was just kind of like, not strong enough. All right, so we're gonna go Spire Bluff into Ragavan. We're gonna we're gonna slow roll these bobbles until uh we're gonna give these these bobbles a turn. 
Although I probably could have done done like bobble, see what I'm drawing, and then play a play a land based off of that. I probably should have done that. Spell Pierce. <laughs> A one ring. I don't wish I could play that. Iteration. Do I want that? Not really. <clears throat> nice, a force of negation. Second iteration. Uh, let's go to combat first, get our second treasure. Talaria West, not bad. All right, now we'll iteration. Uh, let's go hand, bottom, exile, play the Scalding Tarn, fetch with the Scalding Tarn, grab a Steam Vents, pay two life because life, I, I don't think they run Grape Shot, I, and I could be wrong, but Second DRC, okay, not a bad clock. Mm -hmm. I think we spell pierce the dreams grip. I think adding to the clock is fine. All right, let's go DRC. Attack with both. Another one ring. I don't want to play that. That's good that I've exiled two one rings. Uh, I already have three lands, so I don't need that. I have a land in hand, so I don't need that. And of course, I still get... Uh, I'll go hand, bottom, exile. I'll shock this in. All right, so I can hard cast this Force of Negation. So they are dead based off of every, like all the stuff in my hand. I can't count on this twiddle. You're going to breach.
I, I guess I just have to see if they have second breach. If they have second breach, then they have second breach and I just lose, but it's fine. Sure. You put the card on top. Three mana. Wishing for a one ring, I'm guessing. I'm guessing uh, they have four mana available. They're wishing. So like, it has to be a one ring. Like, I don't know what else saves them in this particular spot. Cause it's eight damage plus uh, like it's eight damage on board. Plus another three from lightning bolt. So like they're dead next turn for sure. Unless they're getting like brotherhood's end or some kind of similar wrath. Uh, anger of the gods. Explosives on one. Sure. That works too. All right. A murky boy would be great here. I can't do anything about that. Maybe it turned too late on Murky. I guess I could have bolted them. Gotten an eight eight. Fortunately, the uh, Odawara is not a spell. So, like, if they one ring, or if they do like underworld breed, I don't know. I don't even. I, I can't even conceive of what they could do. Yeah, I definitely should have just lightning bolted them. Had an eight eight Merc tide. And now this Murktide's kind of dead because I don't have any other spells. Maybe firing off the spell pierce was correct. So what is this one card in hand? I 
Okay. You can wish. So the one card in hand was wish. Wishing for an underworld breach. Okay. So let's see what they're going to do. Okay, so they twiddle. So we just go... Four mana spell pierce. Four minute spell pierce for the win, baby. Yeah, I fucked up. I should have just I should have just bolted them bolted their face and then uh swung with Merc Tide once and won the game. But uh hey, it is what it is. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, we have won the die roll. I would love to play first. Does this hand do anything? No. Does this hand do anything? This hand does even less than the previous hand. They're keeping a seven. <sighs> Fine, I'll keep. I'll put back a um, Spire Bluff Canal. Skamaz. Boy, I sure wish I kept that open that first hand. So I like the fire islet because, like, it's insulation against flooding like this. All right, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Would you hit? Hopefully it's land. It's a subtlety. You can't cast that. Yeah, I don't think I win this game. Hand, bottom, exile. Oh, that's right. Dothy Voidwalker. I think the game's just over. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I didn't get a removal spell. I feel like this game's over. Like, I can't play this Murktide at any point in this game. Hmm.
Yeah. Yeah, this is just, I think this is just over. Hey, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to concede this one. I just, I just, like, I, I can obviously subtlety it, but like, there's just no point. It's just a waste of my time. All right, so we don't want to force some negations in this matchup. On the draw, Ragavan's fine. On the play, on the pl or on the on the play, Ragavan's fine. On the draw or on the play, DRC is not fine. So let's just run it back with that. Yeah. Okay, this is a a very capable one land hand. And they also start with seven. I don't think I like either of these right now. Especially because I'm was really looking for my second land. Maybe the dress down is also incorrect. Okay. I don't want that Ragavan. And spell pierce is fine. All right, so this looks like a Dothy. Yep. They're exact same game one plan. All right, let's not brick. We bricked. All right, so let's go. And bottom exile. Fuck. That's so bad. That's so bad, just bricking there. Fable. Discard a card. Uh, we'll discard Spell Pierce, I think. Bobble. And they got back a Ragavan. I get another iteration. Can I get a land, please? Sure. You're gonna take you're gonna take the bolt. That's fine. Actually, you probably take the, the skull. Okay, you take the expressive iteration, that's fine. You just Ragavan. Uh-huh. If, I mean, if they have an undying effect here and they just use it on Ragavan, fine. I'm fine with that. Sure. You want to use it on Ragavan, that's fine.
I'm just drawing like complete fucking ass. And I've seen almost all of my deck. That's crazy. Spell Pierce, sure. Well, now really anything they they can they can play whatever they want for free. If they had anything to play, they could have played anything they wanted for free. Children's Edict? What? 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 They can vote me for free. Just the worst fucking draws, man. Just the worst fucking draws. I got to get rid of that card. If you have Bolt, just please, please just kill me. Don't even waste my time. Just kill me. Brutal. Absolutely brutal game. Just no good draws. And it's my own fault. I shouldn't have mulliganed that first, that opening hand. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have even put myself in this position to lose like that, but it is what it is. We have lost the die roll, which is fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh Kahira. So four color? So it's for a color, this Unholy Heat is not very good. Preordain? Sure. All right, so we're going to go Bobble, look at the top card, and then play our land dependent on it.
Ragavan. Yeah, I want that. Um, I think against four color, we want... We want as much card advantage as possible. So having iterations here is, is pretty good. Um, they can leyline binding. Do I just play the Ragavan? I can just play the Ragavan. Just counter it, sure. Yeah, I forgot to fetch. Oh, well. Unholy heat. Hmm. I think I should just shock in this steam vents and pass. Do I need to hold the counter spell for the one ring? I mean, if they go days undoing, that's fine. I can just counter the days undoing. Do I iteration here? I think so. For, I, I know they just got the counter spell, so I'm just going to force a counter spell out of hand. Yep. Should have waited on playing that land, though. Zagoth, okay. Pretty dance fine. This looks like a one ring. It sure is. All right, let's see here. Uh, hand, bottom, exile, play the bobble. Bumble you pending. Do I just Merc died here? I think it is Merc died here. Let's make it six six. 
five five. That's fine. Because it's gonna get removed anyway. I know it. And the preordain, which I can't really use right now because of the NAR set. You're going to solitude me? All right, you're going to solitude me. You're evoking the solitude. Interesting. Yep, this game's over. I don't really have any way of dealing. Well, I mean, I could have kept up. I could have, like, heated the Narset. But that's, like, the only play I could have made there that makes any sense. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not counting it. In fact, I think I'm just conceding. I'm just going to concede this game and move on with my life. <sighs> All right. Uh, we want a mystical dispute. We want a force of negation. Uh, we want dress downs. We don't want change the equation. We don't want. Probably don't want two of these. Probably don't want one of these. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I punted by uh, by just not respecting the Narset Days Undoing. Now let's get see what happens here. I don't think Magus is any good in this spot with Solitude, Leyline Binding, all that stuff. If it was Blood Moon over that, then yes, but... Uh, five lands is awful. This is better. Um, I don't want another preordain. I don't want another land. Of course, anyway, I get another land. All right. This is probably getting prismatic ending. Yep. All right, well, we have to go iteration. We need to find actual threats. I've just drawn every land in my deck. All right. A uh, hand, uh, hand, bottom, exile, play the Spire Bluff, play the DRC. Last turn. Do I just Ragavan here? 
do I dash Ragavan hit them or hit hit the fairy? I think it's dash Ragavan hit them. Because like Teferi doesn't do much. So let's go snow covered island bound dash. Force them to solitude. Preordain, you say. Preordain off of their stuff. Uh, definitely don't want a Ragavan here. Bottom, bottom. Get a Merc Tide. Uh, pass turn. Now, with Teferi on the battlefield, there's no reason for me to even try to pretend I have anything, so... All right, so four mana. You don't play. You don't have a one ring to play there. I have a counter spell. All right, so I have to. I I feel like I have to dash Ragavan. I can go Scalding Tarn dash Ragavan. Swing both at Teferi. You sure. Hmm, is it right to play Mark Tide here? I don't think so. Hmm, a tough matchup. Mm hmm. Why didn't I crack there? Why didn't I crack there? I should have cracked there. All right, so we definitely cannot play Murktide next turn. We're just going face with this. Like, because they could just replay the, like the, the one damage won't matter to the, to the Teferi. Sure. Don't know why you did that then, but sure.
All right, so I think we go DRC Lightning Bolt. Do we also go Merc Tide? Sure. All right, so we definitely don't go Merc Tide now. Return Kahira, potentially play Kahira. Um, I have three of these. I already have one in hand. I think I would like to keep this on top. All right, let's go hand, bottom, exile. Pendant and Leyline Binding? Sure. Yeah, I missed it up. <sighs> I just don't think I win this game. This Teferi being on the battlefield for what feels like, I think it's been five turns now, is just kind of like the game. And I have eight mana. I just, I, I just, I'm just, I'm just ever playing this game. Uh, there's just no way I win this matchup. Like, not with this being on the battlefield the whole fucking game. Uh, I can't even resolve this Merc Tide. These counter spells are worthless. Odawar doesn't do anything. So uh, I think it's just better for my sanity to just pass that one up. All right. Um, no companion. Keep. Preordain. I mean, this could be anything. All right, so if they go removal spell, do I just go force of negation? I'm really thinking about it. It feels, it seems super bad, but like. Yeah, fuck it. Let's try it. We're here to play, We're not here to fuck around. We're actually here to fuck around.
It is a Tishana's. All right, so this is definitely... Uh, obviously, this was always Murktide, but... All right, so let's go Iteration. Ugh. Gross. Uh, let's go Hand... Bottom, Exile, do this, pass. Okay. Second Ragavan. Um, I think I need to guarantee the land on top. All right, so... And bottom, exile, play the land, pass. Preordain's fine. Grixis, huh? Just kind of have everything that I want right now. I want a creature in the graveyard. Odawara. All right, let's go Murktide. Sure. All right, uh, Grixis Binder, potentially. Grixis, Grixis Binder. Uh, Grixis Binder typically has good creatures. Uh, Grixis Binder is that. I feel like change the equation is very good against that that archetype. Maybe no subtleties either. Yeah, let's try it. No, oh, that's Grixis Binder. Who the fuck knows? All right, Bolt, Spell, Snare. I mean, Spell, Snare on the draw. Pretty incredible. We'll keep this. Turn one Ragavan? Sure. Oops, almost passed through my entire fucking turn. I think I should have held. We have an unholy heat coming off the top. Oh well. I think I maybe should have held for a DRC. But I, you know, obviously I wasn't going to get the DRC. Bowman? Sure. You just have the, t the, the double Ragavan opening hand, that's fine. Merc died, can't play that. Second Merc Tide for me. We will just pass. Breer Dan is okay. No Ragavan, huh? Interesting.
you shot. Okay. All right, let's just do this on their turn. If they have spell pierce, they have spell pierce. Four mana. Okay, we're not. We're we've learned our lesson. We don't just like slam iterations when we don't need to, especially when we have like this much counter magic. Oh, they flame of an ore. Damn it! Uh, actually, I think that was okay. Like, I don't want to counter a flame of an ore on like that doesn't affect my board state. Like, them drawing two cards is obviously not great, but like. Um, I think we continue to yield. Any more lands? I'm mean, eight cards in hand. All right, so I think I actually have to play this DRC. Good thing I caught that. Even if it dies, yeah, if it dies, like that's just removing a card from their hand, that's fine. Like this mystical dispute's big, the spell snare's still big. Bowman. Uh we'll spell snare the bowman. If you have a second bow masters, you just have a second bow masters, sure. I don't but like that that's the thing, is like why are you countering bow ma why are you why are you countering DRC if you have bow masters? Like that to me that just doesn't make any sense. Like, unless you're going to slam a Merc Tide next turn, in which case, fine. But, like, yeah, that... A, a non-delirious DRC? You can just kill that with a Bowmaster. It's like, what are you doing? Shieldred. I think the game is over! Um, and bottom exile, play the steam vents. You just pass here. You take six next turn. Just like playing the preordain doesn't matter. Playing the mystical dispute. Like if they, if they play a Merc Tide, like they just play a Merc Tide. Uh, we take eight here, go to five. Sure. Uh huh. So you just high rolled? Sure. No, you don't get the satisfaction. Absolutely not. All right. Um, not, I don't feel like there was much I could have done there. Not much I could do there at all. Um, I think force of negation, the one of force of negation is still good. They're playing more creatures than I expected, so I feel like going subtlety is actually correct. You can probably take out a couple of Merktide. I'm not really feeling for Merktide as I play further with this list. Like, it's just like, I think three is correct. And from there, it's just like, all right, fine. Um... Seems medium. Let's keep it.
Sure. All right. We're just sitting. Whoops. We're just sitting. We're just waiting. All right, we are definitely not casting this EI. We have seven cards in hand. I don't have to play this Odawara. And I feel like with Grixis Binder, you're you shouldn't really be playing Spire Bluff Canal. But hey, that's just this reporter's opinion. This is a potential Flame of Anor. Nope, no Flame of Anor. I would counter that a second, like there with with four mana up. I ha you know, I would easily counter that. Not even a question. Bobble. Bobble you. You have an Odawara. Um, I have seven cards in hand. I'll have eight next turn, so... I don't really care. Just clear both their bo their, both of their bowmasters, and they have a two two left on board, but that's fine. And I still have a counter spell for next turn. Uh, I dumped a couple cards from hand, so. So I think now I have to slam an iteration just to see what happens. If they counter this, they counter it. Sure. I said no, but thank you. Thank you for double checking. Can't do anything about that. Now, if I had four mana, I could. I would just counterspell that, no question. But like with five mana, with with only two mana, I can't counterspell that. This is Grixis Wizard. It's not Grixis Binder. It may as well be Grixis Binder, though. All right, they have a spell pierce. So I think I just play this Odawara. All right, again with four mana up, I'm I'm willing to counterspell this. With uh, or five mana up, I'm willing to counterspell this. All right, Pluto Delta's not bad. They have a spell pierce in hand.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. They just have more cards than I do at all times. I can kind of just sit. All right, now I have to... Yeah, I forgot to do that. Oh, well. All right, let's start with a dash ragavan. And then we have to pass. If this fails, it's over. I I'm just drawing so dead. All these games are just drawing so dead. Uh, and bottom, exile, heat this. I just had a, like, I I just keep drawing like shit, man. And they have the spell pierced. You 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 win. No one cares. All right, great. This is this is going so great. I love this. I love losing all my games with Murktide. It's it's my favorite. I don't know. I don't know what to say there. I don't feel like any of my like I I feel like my opening hands have all been fine. It's just I feel like that I am losing to the draw steps, and I'm just not liking the way this deck is currently built. This is fine. Actually, I think this is a really good setup for... I think it's a really good setup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this looks like living in, so... Maybe I should have just let it go. Maybe I should have just let it go. Uh, neither of these cards are very good against Living End. Oh, good. Neither of these cards are very good against Living End. Let's get another one. Uh, what did they exile? A Street Wraith. Okay. And they grief again, they grief again. I can't really do anything about it. Mm -hmm. A breeding pool. Man, they don't have very many cyclers at all. I 
think we just bolt them. I can't play this Merc Tide. I, I, I really wish I could, but I can't play this Merc Tide. I have a very weak living end right now. My subtlety is pretty strong. Yep, they're going to living end. I think I just have to spell pierce this. Okay, a couple. Ooh. Do they not cast living end? Interesting. Interesting. But I guess, because like I said, that's a very weak living end. And they get an island. All right, so let's go... Tap steam vents, Merc died. Uh, five, four, five. And that way, if they're living in, we still have a subtlety on the battlefield. Mm hmm. Sure. Living End goes on the stack. Um, yeah, can't do anything about this, actually. Why not? There's no reason for them to Living End here, so... Yeah, this is uh this is over. I needed you last turn. That's my fault. It's my fault for not presenting counterspell. If I present counterspell there, I think they don't do that. Oh whoops. Uh let me quickly take a, a thing out of the list. So I want subtlety. I don't want to change the equation. I don't want ragavan. I don't want unholy heats actually. Up oh, and it's just gonna do that. Great. Uh, I'm not paying attention, so I'm just dying. All right. Uh, great. Uh, this doesn't do anything against living end. This kind of can. I wish you could unsubmit decks. Uh, we're likely putting back a Merc Tide. Can you cast, please? Thank you. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's back. Okay. Exile living end. Exile and overgrown tomb. Mm-hmm. <sighs> uh... 
Well, I'm ready to lose next turn, Mr. Krabs. No, why can't you be cast forever? Yeah, if they if they living in next turn, it's just it's a conceder. Okay, they did not living end. They are violent outbursting. They are endurancing. Okay. Who are you going to block? Cool. Hmm. Yeah, I need that on top. Uh, I guess I could have played the Ragavan. Sure. Don't you already have all the lands you need? Yeah, I should have played the Ragavan last turn. All right, I want that on top for sure. Even if I don't get a land, I want that on top. Okay. Let's have a million endurance. All right, so let's go hand, bottom, exile, play the land. Yes, I'd like to pay two. Casting the Ragvan doesn't matter here, so. It mattered last turn. Does not matter this turn. It will not attack. Oh my god, can I stop drawing Ragavans, please? It's all four. <sighs> can I even do anything here? Not really. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, we just pass again. This, man, the Merc that felt so bad, this league. It's actually great. Like, the, the deck as a whole, not the card, but, like, the card's been not very good, but, like, the deck as a whole has felt super fucking bad. Another endurance... Bro, how are you getting every endurance that you've ever needed, ever? I can't deal with that either. I, I, I just have to let them keep casting these endurances. All right, we have to preordain. Let's get rid of these. We draw an expressive iteration. So, 
five mana attacking with two that tells me they have a violent outburst i could go like ragavan i could go like dash ragavan have counterspell up now of course i lose to force of negation so part of me just thinks it's just expressive iteration because i can always just play odawara so i think it's just expressive iteration see if i hit delirium go from there I don't want that. And bottom exile. Play the snow covered island. Pass turn. A subtlety. Sure. Six me to six. I think six is fine. Next turn, I have to slam Murktide, and I have to defend it. All right, slam the Murktide. <sighs> I fucked up. I needed to counter it. I needed, or I needed to play the subtlety. Play Odawara. Play a Ragavan just to be able to block. I'm I'm just playing this league so fucking poorly. Uh, if they have violent outbursts, they have violent outbursts. I just, you know, I, I'm not winning this game from this spot anyway. I'm just playing this so fucking badly. You you just had it like there. Uh, I just don't deserve to even be in this league right now. All right, that's Merc Tide. Um, I hate this. I, I like. I I don't think the list is. Obviously, I played poorly. But I just also don't think the list is very good. Uh, I mean, obviously, I didn't play against any of the things that changed the equation strong against. Uh, I feel like this is too many Merc Tide. Uh, this it needs to be like. It needs to be like three. I feel like four Murktide is just like asking to brick constantly. And I, I know you're playing, you know, I tried to explain at the beginning, like I know you're playing, you know, three pitch, three pitch cards, but like, man, if you don't get the, the pitch cards of the Murktides and you, you know, it, it just feels super bad. What, what would I play over Murktide though? Over a one of Murktide. Um, I might take a stern scolding in the main. 
get rid of this and then bring on like chalice for zero, like bring on chalice. I, I really like chalice in, in the current meta, just being able to like shit on like any zero, like all the cascade decks with it, I think is really strong. So yeah, I would, I would probably do something like this and, you know, change the equation. I'm not sold on. I, I am, I'm very sold on not playing four Merc Tides. So those are the changes I would make, but uh, obviously you guys can yell at me and tell me how bad I was in the comments and I'll take it. But uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And we'll catch you in the next one.